Hi guys, today I will be showing you how to how I get my fabric covered painted bottle. I use this Ciroc bottle and I have this piece of fabric over from the cushion cover I did, the independence cushion cover. I want to make a fitted covering for this bottle. I want to cut off the bottom piece. And I want to shape this fabric to the shape of the bottle. What I want to do is pull in the sides as tightly as possible. This is a stretch fabric. I'm just going to turn it over on the wrong side. Place it over my bottle. So that I can create the seams and pin it. So that I will get it stitched. So I'm using my straight pins and just following the form of the bottle. Pulling it as tight as possible. Going down the sides on the seam. Letting it fit snug. So I'll go right down with my pins, pulling it as tight as possible. I'll take it to my machine and get it stitched and cut away these ends. So I've gotten it stitched and I'll just use my scissors and cut off the excess fabric because I don't want it to be too bulky on the inside. I'll cut going straight down to where the stitch stops. And I'll cut away the other side. I'll turn it on the right side and fit it on my bottle to see how well it fits and I got a perfect fit look how sweet that looks I'm actually doing two bottles I'm gonna leave one in this color and I'm just gonna be painting the other one in my red white and black the fit top fits perfect the sides are smooth I'll pull the excess down and cut that away. I'm just going to mark the bottom with the pin so I know where to cut off. And I'll cut on that line. So I've already cut it and I'm pinning the bottom so that I can get it stuck with my glue gun. I can do it this way or I can fold the fabric in I can fold it like this but I think I will go the other way I have my paint. I'm using red and white. These are my colors. And I'm just going to be painting the red in between these spaces of these swirls. And I have a little water to add to the paint just a little dab so that it's gonna spread um, spread smoothly sorry I 
and this red is so gorgeous it's bright I'm using my angle brush just to get into the little spaces that the filbert cannot get into because the filbert is a rounded edge brush So you can do whatever design you want to on the entire piece. So I've done the red on the both sides. It, le it looks gorgeous and bright. It really looks good. And you still can see through the bottle. So I'm painting on my white, again using the filbert brush to get those fine lines. I'm just filling in these spaces as I go along. I'm just going to continue doing so. Now this was the second coat that I had gone over the entire piece with. It really looks gorgeous. This is the finished. I put a piece of diamond wrap around the top of the bottle there. I have this tie back and I don't use it anymore. So I'm thinking that I should run it around the bottom of the bottles. I'm thinking also that I can paint some red in between. Not sure yet. So I'm just gonna cut away the pieces. But this is how we finish the of the bottles. Those are two brooches that I had that I placed on the bottles. This is the original color with a little bling on it and it's sparkly so nicely. So guys, thanks for being with me for my house videos. And do have a blast day. And I'm happy to be back.